Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Check out these Pinterest picks. I love terrariums, whether they are real or whether they are a faux, and they're very easy to make. Let's go to work. Terrarium, a sealed transparent globe or similar container in which plants are grown. Well, my plants are not going to be growing, they're going to be faux. And my objective is to induce serenity and relaxation when you look at it. Now this is the base of that glass vessel that I'm going to be using. I wanted to share it with you. It looks like the bottom of a Corinthian column or the top. And when you turn it upside down, it can be a flower pot. I start out by using my X-Acto knife just to kind of mark the spot where I'm going to cut the foam. I want to cut it down to where it fits snugly against the bottom of the vase. You want the foam to fit snugly on the bottom and this vase curves a little bit so there's very little flatness on the bottom. So I misjudged and I ended up having to cut the foam um, a little bit more for it to fit snugly on the bottom. So get your measurements right first time around and then add your glue. I try to do my projects as accurate as possible, but sometimes my zeal gets in the way and I get a little too excited. Like when I was putting the glue on the base and then adding the foam, I thought I was actually applying the glue around the edges and I wasn't. I purchased this pack of Toya logs from Hobby Lobby and I ended up cutting the one that I was using in half. Like I mentioned in the previous video, this moss is also from Hobby Lobby. I decided to just empty the entire bag of the moss inside the vessel just to see what it would look like. And look at all that beauty, it's just so pretty. Even if you just left this alone and just shape it a little bit that's a beautiful arrangement and this is also very very popular to just put moss inside the container and just let it go Some of these are old Dollar Tree succulents, regular faux plants that I've had for a minute, so I don't mind chopping them up. Yes, Dollar Tree had those amazing succulents this spring. They had them in the black flower pots. Last year, they were in white, and I've been buying them over several years, so that's how I got a really good supply. I cut some of the flowers down and I attached them to the bottom of a skewer. I didn't have a toothpick. And I used some floral wire just to make a small bouquet and I stuck it in the very bottom of the arrangement. And of course, there are my logs that I cut and I'm just adding only one of them. For me, it's just simple to work the floor of the arrangement first and then work your way up to your taller florals.
Now I was using my hand at first and once things started to get a little tight, I switched over to a skewer to just push things into place for me. Even though it doesn't feel quite like spring yet, I mean, yes, 27 degrees the other night, I was like, listen, I think I just want to stick to the green, but I started to just want to bring spring forward, you know, manifest it into my life. So I added those bright colors to represent spring. I wanted this arrangement to make you feel like you were walking into a little miniature garden of your very own. And when you use different shapes and layer them on top of the other, you create that interest and your imagination goes wild with creativity and you really do start to relax. Even just looking at this one small piece of a green arrangement versus all the snow or cold weather that we're experiencing, but it really starts to relax you. It really is like looking at an aquarium or something like that, or just walking into a nice, beautiful little garden. I think our arrangement is ready for the breakfast table. Let's have a little more fun. Let's do a spring tablescape using those pops of color in our terrarium. These placemats are from Hobby Lobby this year. And these galvanized chargers, well, they're from Michaels from several years ago. So you mix the softness with a little bit of masculinity and it makes for a beautiful play setting. These salad plates are from year one, several years ago. The watering pitcher napkin rings and the gingham napkins are from Pier One. I gotta say it again, several years ago. Now, although any napkin could have gone with any plate, I tried to be selective when I placed them next to the place setting. And if you've been a subscriber or a viewer of this channel for a while, you know that everything in our kitchen side of the house has more of a casual rustic vibe. I also staged a small vignette in the living room using the terrarium sitting on top of the base so you could see how that would look. Of course, it's gonna be a flower pot. I love mixing faux and real, but in this case, Kroger florals have just blown me away. So I had to pick up one of these arrangements. These tulips were stunning. So I'm in week one right now.
Well, that's it for me, guys. If you are not a subscriber, hope you'll consider doing so today and press the bell because that means, hey, Catherine, the next time you post something, I'm going to see it right away. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to go have a look at your channel. I'm going to see it right away. I'm going to get notified. That's what the notification bell is for. And um, thanks a lot for watching. And as always, what do we do? Stay in prayer and stay creative. Guys, we got this. We got this. We got to keep going and soaring in his name. Have an amazing day.